Recently, we talked about Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered getting a second DLC pack on top of the variety map pack that we ended up getting earlier in the year, which would then ultimately complete all the content that we saw within Modern Warfare and Call of Duty 4 back in the day. We had all the maps that we had in the standard multiplayer rotation, but also the four maps of Kill House, Broadcast, Creek, and Chinatown that were added in post-launch for COD 4. This theoretically capped off everything that we knew would be coming within Modern Warfare Remastered. Obviously, there's some changes that went into this, such as DLC weapons, melee weapons, more calling cards, more camos, that kind of stuff that some people will call this a reimagination more so than a remaster, but one thing that popped up recently was the idea and air quote leak of the map pack called Regroup, in which we would end up getting four maps from not Modern Warfare, but instead Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. Those maps being Estate from Modern Warfare 2, Terminal from Modern Warfare 2, High Rise from Modern Warfare 2, and Dome from Modern Warfare 3. Now this idea is something that might be a little bit radical, but it's something that is really intriguing nonetheless, because it brings up the topic of not only something that is a modern warfare game standalone that is remastered but also it's something that may indicate the hint of keeping modern warfare remastered alive for much longer than we currently thought and remastering the modern warfare series not just call of duty 4 modern warfare so in this video today we're gonna be taking a look at modern warfare remastered and the states at which it could end up becoming the new Call of Duty Online because this whole platform and what may end up coming to Modern Warfare is something that we've actually seen before. Now, if this starts to sound familiar to you guys, well, it very well may be because it's not the first time we'd see something like this, but on a global standpoint, it would be. What I'm talking about is this might be the replacement for Call of Duty Online. For those of you guys that don't know, Call of Duty Online was a free-to-play version of Call of Duty built specifically for gamers in China. Previously, there was a major console ban in China, which only allowed PC gaming and very certain titles at that to be in the area. So, Call of Duty and Activision teamed up with Tencent Holdings and Activision Shanghai to bring the people of China a Call of Duty title that they could end up playing. And if you guys have followed any of this at any point in time, it's something where it is the best of pretty much much every Call of Duty and I think up to Advanced Warfare. It has levels, weapons, character design, characters, customization, all that kind of stuff that's basically like just one giant melting pot of Call of Duty. The best of the best made it into this game essentially. And it has all kinds of cool things such as a zombie survival mode which are zombie cyborgs, kind of cool stuff like that. But this may very well be the global replacement for that because while this is something that is only in China, it is something that was absolutely blown out of the water with positive reception when people all around the world gained access to VPNs and things like that to be able to play. Everybody wanted this to come to the global market as something that they could play as well and not necessarily have to deal with setting up fake IDs, servers, and certain things like the lag that just made it almost unplayable. So with that said, you know who had their hand in the developments of COD Online and also has a hand in the developments of Modern Warfare Mastered? Raven Software. So it very well could be something that this might end up being that global conglomeration of what Call of Duty Online ended up being, but kind of gradually shifting Modern Warfare Mastered, a secondary title as always it's been for essentially the main marketing purposes. Maybe that is the underlying thing that fans can go back to, but also have a ton of different content and steady stream of new content coming in at certain points throughout the next couple of years. No doubt it will definitely be weird going from a year in which we had three active Call of Duty titles, that being Black Ops 3, Modern Warfare Mastered and Infinite Warfare, to what this upcoming year for Call of Duty will be, that being of just World War II. But what if that's not actually the case? What if this idea of a regroup DLC with four multiplayer maps from two different Modern Warfare games ended up coming into Modern Warfare Mastered and therefore elongates the life cycle of Modern Warfare Mastered as a series remastered, not just a standalone game or COD 4 remastered, but as a series. This could then be what Black Ops 3 was for some fans that didn't like Infinite Warfare or didn't want to have to buy Infinite Warfare for Modern Warfare Mastered. It could be that fallback title which still has support, but also gives fans a lot more to do in terms of 
gaming with Call of Duty. Now, I certainly don't think that there is any sort of different argument that can be made that this would be a bad thing where there would be more things for fans to choose from I think that this would honestly be fantastic, and with the idea once again of this regroup map pack coming in, adding in multiple maps that were not in the original Modern Warfare and turning it from a standalone title to a series remastered, I think this then points very well that this could work out. And of course, with Raven's success with Call of Duty Online, they definitely know how to do this, how to make this work, and how it would be something that's not only profitable as a business, which we do have to remember is what Activision cares about. They're a publisher and a business first and foremost. Call of Duty is a brand and something that the fans can absolutely love, and studios will do their best to do fan service and give fans what they want, but for the main portion, Activision's concerned about the profits. That's something that is just the way that business works in the entire world. So for this to be something that is not only loved, but also profitable, that's the big thing here with this, but I think it definitely could work out. So with that said, it brings it now to the fork in the road. Will this happen or will this not happen? And right now, I don't think we're close enough to be able to decipher which road has the sunny sunset at the end or just the road of storms and tornadoes and despair at the end of them. I think that we're still honestly a little bit too far away to even maybe take a look at these with binoculars. That's still how far down the road, the road being time, how much there is left here with this. But with this inevitably going to be coming up to that point where maybe it happens, maybe it doesn't, I'd love to get your feedback here on would you guys like to see Modern Warfare Remastered turn from COD 4 Remastered into Modern Warfare the Series Remastered? And if you guys would like to see that be the underlying title for next year in Call of Duty, where some people may be able to defer back to it if they don't like World War II, where some people may be able to play both if they love both, whatever it may be, feel free to drop your thoughts down there. But that's where we're gonna wrap it up, so hopefully you guys enjoyed, and if you guys did, make sure you drop a like down below, and of course, if you guys are new to the channel as well, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding Modern Warfare Mastered, whether that be moving forward with a lot more content or not, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, both multiplayer and zombies with Zombies Chronicles there, World War II with multiplayer and zombies as well, and Infinite Warfare if you guys are into that stuff as well. And finally, if you guys wanna follow me over on Twitter, that is the best place to get connected with me outside of YouTube, but practically live on Twitter, so if you guys wanna strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But all that said and out of the way, hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.